Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video. Uh, if you can't tell by the title, um, this video is going to be about a multiplier and a divider. Um, so essentially what I wanted to create is just two um, systems which would take uh, two values like and times them together or divide them together. Um, and the other one I made. This one here is the uh, multiply. And I'll quickly show you a demonstration of it working. I have reset it all good. Um, <clears throat> so this would be your smaller input generally. You could use this for the bigger input, um, but it's just quicker to have this one as smaller input. I'll explain it in a minute. Uh, so if I do 2 times 5, let's say, um, and then hit the green button and let it compute. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, our output comes out here. I know it's in a kind of strange place, but I was just I was like jumbling this together um, just to get just to get it to work, sort of thing. Um, but anyway, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two times five, ten. Yay! <laughs> um, this system can only go up to fifteen. I could only do a maximum of seven times two, so you get fourteen. Um, I would like to be able to create a system which can go uh, bigger numbers than that, but I um, still need to work that all out, sort of thing. I reckon I could, um, at the moment, attach this to a sort of counter that I had shown you before, um, just with a few alterations to it um, when it goes to the next line. Um, Basically, the way that it works is say if we call this value here um, y, uh, let me just, oh, there are any decorations. Um, call this value here y, and the other value over there x, so it's we'll call it x times y. What it will do is it will do, um, at the start, it would 0 plus x, okay, and then it will do y minus 1 and then uh, well actually the first conditional statement is uh, y greater than 0 so if y is greater than 0 um, then it will do 0 plus x and then minus 1 from y then it will go through again so we'll do uh, but this time uh, if we say the answer is now equal to a um, Sorry if this confuses you a little bit. We do y greater than 0 again, and then we'll say a plus x again, and then we'll minus 1 from y again. So <clears throat> what's happening here is we'll just then repeat through this bit, but the first one is a little different because we have 0 instead of answer, but essentially 0 is our answer uh, at the start. So. I'll sh walk you through it with using our 2 times 5. So 2 comes into here and gets stored in this little bit here. Sorry for this all being jumbled up. 2 um, is in here. And then what it does is it asks whether 2 is um, greater than 0, basically with this bit here. And then if it is greater than 0, uh, the only reason I did this bit is because I was being stupid, but yeah. <laughs> It still uh, still works out whether it's greater than zero or not. Um, and then if it is greater than zero, then it will add on um, your number in here. It'll add it on. So this piston will push forward, putting the value into here, and so it can do the um, addition and add that to our answer at that point, which is currently um, this storage block here, uh, which currently resides at zero. And so it'll add on 5. So if I'm quick, uh, where is it? 5. Um, I'm quick, come over here. You see it added on 5. And then add on 5 again. Now that delay is coming from the signal going along here. Uh, for a bit of delay, I just added on to make it simpler. And then essentially this circuit here. Is just minusing one from the the stored value in here, so that it um, the your two will then become one, 
and then when it becomes one, it'll go through again, and then it'll minus one again, and um, it'll become uh, become zero. So if I was to show you an extreme example of this, so this value here would be 15. I'm going to do um, reset it all. I'm going to do 15 times one. So that we'll um, just get 15 should be our answer. Then you'll see this just increment by one each time. Now the timing isn't perfect, of course, so it's going to be a little slow. Uh, probably speed it up a little bit. But that's essentially all that's happening. It's just checking whether y equals zero, and then if not, adding on the number we put here. So it's just adding one on each time, and then that will come out of 15 in the end uh, if we let it run for a while. So that's essentially the multiplier done. Now the divider I built over here. Don't worry about that stuff. That's just be me being stupid. Um, yeah, this is a divider, and so if I give you a demonstration, this number here should be your bigger number, so like on the top of the fraction, and then that's your uh, denominator, um, this line here. So, and also the output of this, um, if I reset it all, uh, sorry I have to manually reset it uh, at the moment, I haven't, that's oh, already reset, um, I haven't hooked up all the pistons to lift blocks and stuff um, <clears throat> but yeah the answer will come out as um, uh, and it'll be they'll be both analog um, but I'll just put set up a display for this one um, but it'll give how many it's divided by and then a remainder so for example if you did uh, 15 divided by 2 um, of course that doesn't go, if you do that on a calculator you get 7.5 but here it would show it as 7 remainder 1 um, because you get 7 times 2 which equals 14 then you got one more which would make it up to 15 so if I do a calculation here uh, I'll do one um, which should get a remainder so that's 15, 14, 13 if we do 13 divided by 3 one, two, three, and then we hit go. We get one, two, three, four, and we get four remainder one. So if we test that out, um, four times three is twelve plus one equals thirteen. And that's what we entered in. So that's just um, showing how the answer works. Now, the way this actually works um, is what it does is it, it's almost exactly the same thing as the um, multiplying, just slightly switched around a little bit. So what we have is our input uh, here is the first thing we check is whether this input here is um, less than this input here because if this input here like or this stored value is less than the um, denominator then of course it can't divide so we'll just leave that as the remainder so for example if you put in um, 2 divided by um, 3 yeah then you just get a remainder of 2 because it would go 0 remainder 2 okay you wouldn't get anything on the answer um, and that's checking round each time it goes and then if it is true if um, that number is less than then it will minus the denominator from it so that's just this little bit here uh, taking the denominator and minusing it and then it does the thing I've showed you before where we have like two storage units um, and it'll just pass the number around so basically switching this with what's over there um, <clears throat> and then we just go through the same conditional check again is it less than the denominator if not um, minus the denominator and go around again 
uh, but each time that it goes around again it'll add one onto here or just send a signal on here this is not um, a signal strength this is just literally a on off signal and so if it is um, on then it'll just add one onto here and um, go around again and then with the remainder it's very simply that if it is less than then that is the remainder um, there's no real need to work out the remainder it'll just it comes out by itself um, yeah so that's that's essentially it really um, I won't post these um, I won't post these schematics um, because it's not a really it's not a very good design um, if I ever do uh, which I should do um, though I should be doing revision but um, if I do make these uh, uh, better and more compact and possibly faster, uh, most definitely faster with the multiplier, um, then I will uh, post those schematics uh, in a later video uh, for you guys. Um, an interesting point um, which I might also build is that I could do powers as well. Um, so for example I could do um, 2 to the power 3 the way you do that is you just add on like um, this uh, like Y bit again and just like put it here and so you'll do a conditional check every time that equals zero then you just return that to um, its value again and then minus one from the other from the other like Y value you'd call that like Z or something I don't know um, and then that would allow you to do like um, 2 to the power 3 so do 2 times 2 times 2 um, but yeah that's just for a later product maybe one day um, yeah so thank you very much for watching hope to see you next time